I listen to um, news yeah. on uh, public radio. I listen to uh, Clark Howard if I'm in the house two hours every afternoon. And um, in the morning, I work all the time. I don't listen in the morning except music. I listen to Canada and hear their music once in a while. Really? It's from Toronto. What kind of music? Uh, all big band. Really? No other. I don't listen to any other at all. <laughs> hmm. Big band was my era when I was out where people did dance during the 30s and the 40s, but not after that. Hmm. So, you used to dance? Oh, yes. Swing dance, tap dance. I used to tap dance on the stage. Really? Yeah. Would they have dances at halls or what, what venues did you go to? Dance. Uh, always just ballroom dancing. Yeah. Like I used to dance, go to the dances at Cornell University. And I always danced at a swiggle. Well, I had was this before or after you were married? Before. Les did, did not like to dance. He didn't dance, no? He would, but he had to be forced into it. He was a trumpet player and he played for dances all the time. Hmm. With an orchestra. He played in Syracuse everywhere. He used to play at North Syracuse for their high school dances. Really? And he played at Burton at the hotel for five years. At the hotel on the left-hand side before he'd go over the bridge. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't remember it. I don't know if it's, it was around when I was around. It was torn down 20 years ago at least. Okay. But up on the third floor was a big ballroom. And he played there every Saturday night for years. Mm. I know the name of that hotel, but I can't tell it to you offhand. So, um, but my knee won't allow me to dance anymore, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I do well if I walk. Yeah. I still take the bus and go downtown by myself. When did you give up driving? I didn't give up. I was forced to <laughs> give up because I couldn't pass the eye test. And the year was January 1998. It's been seven years now. Mm -hmm. I also have Central Taxi, and they will take me any place I want to go on a weekday, but never on Saturday or Sunday. But on weekday, they'll take you any place. So I have taxi service if I want it. So you get your shopping done on the bus? I go almost every week and shop for myself and for others, but my groceries are all delivered here by a van. It's called Helping Hands. Oh yeah. And it's a van that delivers groceries. It's a very wonderful thing. Of course, you don't have the pleasure of going in the store and picking it out yourself. Yeah. And once a month, I send them a list of everything I want. And once a month, they bring it here and carry it right in the door. Good. And they only charge ten dollars and seventy cents. It's the cheapest service there is, I'd say. Yeah. But some people want to go every week and you can't do that. And when I ride the taxi, it only costs a dollar and a quarter because it belongs to Centro. It belongs to Centro? Uh-huh. And sometimes they send a uh, a Lincoln, a Lincoln uh, town, town car. car. I write in style sometimes. <laughs> it's style to me at least. Yeah. <laughs> so, I get along very well considering I'm a person that's 
occupied all the time and I don't worry about what somebody else is doing and think that I have to get up and go every day. I got up and went to work every day for 40 years and I'm glad that I don't have to. <laughs> Were you teaching all that time? Yep. 